Okay, okay, welcome back. Um, what did we do last time? I think we made some deliveries? Oh yes, and uh, we got our broom. So, next on the agenda is... I don't know. Professor Heatcat wants to teach me a new spell. Uh, also. But we do that one instead. I like spells, spells are handy. Dark Arts class, there we go. Oh, we were gonna go uh, train with, uh, I forgot what that kid's name was. It was in the uh, Duelist uh, course. Is this Heatcat? No, I don't wanna meet Sebastian. Yes. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Teach me a spell. I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Uh, I don't know if that's awful or fascinating. Since I'm still there, I'm thinking it'll be fascinating. Time itself? I never would have imagined such Let's a be thing. Insensitive. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah. As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity no. for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay, um, but uh, I wanted a spell. Your name was on this quest. Prof oh. Professor, wait. I didn't le read Professor Sharp's way. Why is Sharp's on here? I swear I read he got. Take it. Okay, I guess we're going to potions class. Who's over here? If only a I new don't student want to do your quest right now. I don't want to do your quest either. I press the V. I press and hold the V button. Uh, Professor Sharp wants me to test. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to use the flu flames because uh, it wants me to do something else. No requirement. I don't want the room of requirement. Stop being hard or difficult. Good. I didn't. I mean that one. The class should be nearby. Charms now. Phoenix against Dark Arts. Phoenix against Dark Arts Tower. Figs. Transfiguration class. Central Hall. Divination classroom. Greenhouse. Library. Potions classroom. There we go. Said I need like a whole list, like immediately just printed out in front of me. I said potions. Is this still not gonna take me the right way? No, it's not. You, sir. 
Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to Pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Sure. I can handle anything. Revelio. Okay. Handle that. Sir, uh, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Did I already have them? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. I didn't want to talk to you. And before I teach you to Pulso, I must know that you are pre Oh, I can skip it. I was trying to select that. There we go. Pressure sharps. Aurora badge? Aura badge. Ah. Aura's comprise or comprises the Ministry of Magical Law. Enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by the dark magic. The Aurora badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Oh, it's literally right there. You just, you just sit there and marvel at your stuff, I guess. I mean, you think you'd wear it. Oh, right. I was trying to get the focus potion and whatnot. Yeah, you know what? Hey, Sebastian sounds like a good dude all of a sudden. Look, 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 let's show us Sebastian. Over here. Yeah, I'm here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's a secret passage just here. Yeah, I think this right here. It's a secret passage. Got it. Fashion, you coming? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. It we used to play gobstones here all the time with my sister. Anne, she loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Mm -hmm. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Lots of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Teach Professors me? say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. Oh, I to be fair, from you? I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Yes, teach me, teach me. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. 
Very well. Okay, easy peasy. I got this. Why is lemon squeezy? Uh huh. First try. Here we go. Easy. Mimicked. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? <laughs> no. Stick to the targets, though. Best. That's the video. And Fringo. Oh, the armor sucks. Croft intact. Okay, where's the dummy? Have there a was go a dummy? Candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find Incendia. that Fringo travels a bit oh. farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Oopsie. Good Fringo. Nice work. How's it? That's it. Well done. Oh, I was like, do I got one more to blast? I have to say. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't got any. to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. So it was too much. Kind of like I don't got eyebrows. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do, perhaps when I next head to oh, Felcroft, there you is. could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Yeah. Meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, hmm? what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? Maybe. He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. Ooh, there was this port this? key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. <laughs> you must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. I was ancient say, magic. Spit it out. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours. Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I, uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yeah, we're really talking, aren't we? Whew. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yep. Told all my secrets there. Why does that need to be shut with bars? Ominous. Hello, Hello. Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh... I'm not gonna Actually, lie. Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be oh, able to help being you. being honest, Simon, it's God. is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. 
I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ominous, I just meant- I know my what bad. you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I feel like I wouldn't be able to win that argument regardless. Hey, if I go back, if I go back in there, will, will I hear them? Can I, I, oh, I can't go back in there. I was wondering if he's going to argue. I don't want to help you at all. Well, you know what? I think I got to find stupid Are you all right? orbs or something. Don't some you sort. know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everybody hate everyone you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. Gobstone. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Nasty. Sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Ah, oh, that sounds, uh, kind of annoying. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Selfless? I can't make any promises. I'll see what though. I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. You sound very lonely. I'm kind of sorry for that. Oh, hey there, buddy. Can I, uh, see me now? Hee 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 hee. I'm gonna come steal your treasure. Got it. Oh, I can actually probably open a couple more of those to buy those potion ingredients that I needed. Or the recipes, even. I'll keep that as a note. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Like that one right there? Definitely. <laughs> Well, it's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Hey there, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Just shake it off, huh? Wait, I don't want that to be my main quest. We were in the middle of a grand quest. We were... Uh, trying to do the Room of Requirement. Yeah, that. Because I was going this way, remember? Yeah, I hope you do remember, because uh, that was the plan right there. We just got a little sidetracked by, uh, was her name Zenobia? Don't get sidetracked, don't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked. And then the werewolves join the goblins Goblins, in the werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flack. Peeves! Enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. 
It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> wow, peeps, you are a jerk. <laughs> Oh yeah, the room of requirement. That's where we were going. Oh, your ADHD kind of really messes with you. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Yeah, no time at all. Well done. Shall we? Okay. Off to you, Professor. I'm so excited. After this uh, little sequence here, we should be able to uh, make place? potions and whatnot. This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But what you've I managed need. to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf mm -hmm. I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Akio! There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Uh, um... Hmm. Help? This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing Evanesco? spell. Oh, nice. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first. All right, then you here can we go. The chairs away. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're the best teacher ever. Yep. Yeah. Evanesco. Yeah. With feeling. Ah. Uh, that's Repero. Which one's Evanesco? This one. Here we are. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. I'm pressing it. Let me do it. Excellent I can do it. Yeah. There we go. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. That's fine. Let's move on. We don't need to. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Uh, well, his name is Deke. He's not Merlin's name. Dear. Ooh. Is that... keep it down. Some of us Goodness. are trying to rest. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Dang it. I can't believe it. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity. To... Okay, bye, Professor Weasley. Yes, Professor. Nice, knocking gas through here. Akio! There a reason why I'm over here? Nothing? Hmm, why am I over here? Did I just grab a random cup of tea? Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Hmm, I wanted to go... I wanted to go... Um, this way a little bit. Akio. I made a whoopsie. Let me uh, okay, I guess that works. I pulled it out a little too far by accident. Nice. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. 
Precarious. What does that mean? An intruder. Should I look it up? Mysteriously dangerous. What? No, oh. not. Uh, that's not helpful, you Sir? pile of tin. Lumos. Oh. Interact. Bit offended. Bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> nice. Ooh, lanterns. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? They don't. You ever just see skeletons? What was, what was that? Was that a golden stitch? Oh, that thing? Yeah. But we don't, got, we don't got footage here. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, there's the uh, Quidditch trophies and stuff right there, too. What am I doing with that? I don't know what I'm doing with that. I, uh... Ah! Hey. There we go. No. There we go. Got it. I can solve puzzles, yeah, even when I don't even know I'm solving puzzles. Blue flame! Deke! My dude! Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, you apologies, you Professor bag? Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend honored. since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, yeah, show it's me. time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely oh. as you need it. Okay, it's imagine. It's the not room here yet. We'll do the rest. Oh, there was a rumble from, coming from I the game. To it sounded like a truck. Space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Nice. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Extra nice. Is that one candy and tea? Always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold it. Identify. Please. Oh, I 
Oh yeah, one thanks. But anyways. Hey there, Professor. Um, you, you gonna chill out here a while? You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Mm-hmm. So, uh, now what? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, mm -hmm. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. Okay. The room might not provide everything Another you need Another spell, please. Own. Let's conjuring. go. Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay, here we go. Here. I did my first conjuring spell on the best. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Mm -hmm. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in mm -hmm. the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give it a try? My swan boy. Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Mm hmm okay, great. Uh, I need that, uh, that deer spell. It's, uh, this one, right? And that one? Let's see here, I need a potion. Can't use any of those. Are these just colors? These are just colors. Uh, let's go with this one. Bam! I need another? Well, uh, just in case. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, since I can't do another one of those, I guess I'll go back and... Herbology. Oh, there you go. You're a little too big. Well done. I'll just meet you there. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions. Thank or you, Professor. Plants. Presume you're the best. Of you've collected any seeds or potions. I think I already got one of these. In right? Yeah. Or outside the castle grounds. And uh, just ornaments, I guess. Tapestry. Nice. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. We got things to do. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, you might as well just teach it to me right now and then be gone. And I should just grow some potions, or not grow potions, but uh, grow some things to make potions. Do I need a maximum potion? I need invisibility and something else. 15 seconds. I can't wait that long. I'm too impatient. Hey, Professor, you I'm ready for the spell. next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of mm -hmm. Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I'm pretty sure I have enough. I think I collected some. Uh, I have the moonstone the you requested, Professor. Yeah, Good. there we go. On my way then to Hogsmeade. Begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Uh -huh. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Yeah. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I did. I will add to teach you Leviosa. Uh. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do 
you see me after class? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a carpet too. Nice. Deeks is over there uh, having a ball. Oh, he's eating jelly beans. <laughs> Here, fit for a king. I really gotta do all this. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. But I only brewed like two potions. Come on. Man, you're literally laying this on me with all this new stuff, huh? Little, little tiny foot wrist, or I need I need a stepping stone or a stepping tool to get on my my throne here. I think I already did a carpet. I don't need another, right? I, I probably I just probably need a mouse over these actually. I wouldn't hurt to have a mirror. Hey, professor. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? Oh. Uh, I guess it's nothing Actually, important. Actually, I don't think I have any questions. Actually, I think, do. never mind. Oh, it wants me to conjure some more wall decorations and uh, floor decorations. Okay. Wall decoration. Boom. Then floor decoration. Don't know what I'm gonna do with all these lights in here. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, we should. I don't want to be here anymore. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Uh huh. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Mm -hmm. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Yes. Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Alteration. Here we go. No time like the present. I got this. Relax. Just aim your wand at any... Uh, which one? Was it this one? I think it was this one. Um, there we go. ...and perform the altering to customize it. I mean, I could just get rid of it and then... change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not changing the size of that, so... color of an item Not that change in color what about the room I can't do nothing about it yet uh color are you, are you the change of color no color of what item rug do I change the color rug? No. This is occupied. Change the color of what? Deke, come here. I need to change your color. What do you want me to change the color of? I have some questions about alteration, yes. Professor. Yes? Yes? Okay, that, that still ain't telling me Thank nothing. You, professor. I'll be here if you need anything else. Yes! Okay, here we go. Nicely done. Oh. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Yeah, like what? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Thank you. Your space might be a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Ambiance? 
Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Uh, that's Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Yes, Deke. Uh, show me. Show Deke. me. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, gloomy. A cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Just, just easy. Are we done yet? Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I'm surprised too. What is happening now? Mm. More is happening. I don't like it. Ah, yes, uh, space is so opened up now. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Okay. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> I can almost use it wisely. Okay, get me out of here. I hate quests that take so freaking long to do. Mm -hmm. Whack. Okay, what next? What's under our agenda now? What more quest will sit there and make me listen for another half an hour. Acquire and use a venomous tequila and killa. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Uh, well, I just got the potion room, so now I just need to be able to get the ingredients and the recipe. So that's going to be held off for a little bit, because apparently buying the potions is slightly less than the ingredients list. I'm going to need to learn how to make things anyway, so I might as well just buy the ingredients list for recipes. Oh, hey there, buddy. You dear little buddy. I feel healed. Oh. Who, what are you? I was good to Professor Figs, but ADD says, Hello, hey. There. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, no, it's you. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Mm. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the old troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two skin? maps lying about, That's both animal, leading right? to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure, sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Oh, okay. Perhaps I will take a look. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Ah, okay, yes. Um, Snake on pole. The uh, rhino 
skeleton, the lake outside, and a mirror that I want to say come here to, right? Now, in which order does this go? I don't know from left to right or right from right from left, but yeah. Anyways. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, well, there's the rhino. <laughs> Step one. Ah, rhino for a skeleton. I'm on the right Step track. Two, go down to outside. Step I'd better keep an eye three, on three. Go There's this the way. I'm getting close. The Dedalian keys are back. I don't I'm care about the Dedalian keys right now. Um, step four. Look at a. The stairwell looks painting. promising. Wow. How how do you see that without me going up I there? And step five, this like the do this. From the map. Do, do oh, this. Yo, why, why are we opening the uh, door there? Was there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Got a robe. Hmm. Nice. Any idea how I get back out? This way? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, now we'll talk about the Dedalian keys. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. Hi, Nelly. I'm just so excited that Nelly. the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. No. Nope. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Yeah, why would Each I? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, okay, not so an easy task. Okay, so for years after you years, find a um, there's been these keys flying around, and perhaps I'll give it a go. Nobody I hope you has. Do. In fact, gotten them? I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Man, you're all I really you lazy. Keys, at least. Or very unfortunate. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. Well, I don't want to get a key right now. We're we're in the middle of a quest here. We're in the quest of the map chamber. No, no, no. Was it the map? Yeah, it was the map chamber. Yep. Mm-hmm. Professor Fig. That way. Which one's Professor Fig? Oh yeah, Professor Fig. Um, the guy we started with. Ooh, my memory has lapsed. Maybe okay, back in just a second, I guess. Money, 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 money. Goggles. What are you up to now? Looking for that. Hey there, buddy. There we go. I think I can afford a potion now. Recipe. Come on, open. Open! Why are you loading? Just open! I Mr. Was Fig. hoping to see you. I was hoping not to see you, but I'm here anyways. Uh, that's a chest. I'm gonna go open it first. Don't don't mind me. Still in your galleons. You're back. Finally, Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which, listen, Professor. <laughs> yeah. So goblins. much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Mm -hmm. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? Somebody who died. He was died. a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. 
I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping Yeah, you didn't look surprised at all. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Ah, yes. Time skip. Protego! Uh, whoops. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival uh, Rackham awaits us uh, there. Uh. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from No the idea. Book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Uh, is this when Peeves was alive? To think it was beneath us all this time. Is Peeves a really big character in this game? Because he kind of just shows up everywhere. He's kind of a bit of an asshole too. I mean, but he's not in like regular Hogwarts. So is he a new character or is he just somebody that vanishes from being a villain of the sort? Put it there, put it there, go on, place it there. I feel very impatient. Stars. There's Hogsmeade. Oh. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Mm hmm. How old is Hogwarts? Because now that you really think about it, this is like basically over 100 years ago, back before even Harry Potter. If only you were here to see this. How old is everything? Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed Professor the book Rackham. on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. Sure. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials, trials that will test uh... you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Little me. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Yeah, I actually don't, but... You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago mm -hmm. in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, mm -hmm. both innate and learn. Of course. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. Now, I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. 
Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. Mm -hmm. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your hmm. considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Yeah, we should have a look. You know, Fig, you sound really suspicious now all of a sudden, too. Because remember, your wife had the port tower. It's not and far. And you didn't even cry you learning about her death. You may have seen it yourself. Uh, um, I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll see you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Yeah, I, I got tight lips. Who was down here? I came from here before. Doesn't go anywhere. That's nice. Meet Professor Fig at the tower. I don't want to go to the tower. Okay, we're going to the tower. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. No, 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 no more. The flow of this game is disastrous. Actually, you hell not. Yeah, okay, you know what? I've been playing long enough. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.